Good afternoon. It is a distinct pleasure and an honor to be here with you. Um, I hate these tables. <laughs> Can you? I've heard that one before. <laughs> I can't stand standing. Can you put them back? Can you stand? Yeah, I just want to be standing. Ah, fantastic. It's magic. Oh, thank you. Is that better? Thank you, thank you. Now, I know a lot of people. Um, do you have a, a mic for questions? In yes, yes, we do. Mics right here. Okay, over there. Okay. Uh, one over there. We'll have one mic situated yeah, over there. Line up. I prefer them to be in the back for the lines, not okay. in the front. All right. I prefer no one to be near those speakers. All right. This is one front line right here. Cool. On this side, and there's a front line on that side. Okay. Go towards the end. Go towards the end? Yeah. Would, would you like to get to questions and answers right away sure. so we can get more of them? Um, okay. Because there's one thing about me that I have to confess to. I am not a terse speaker. <laughs> And so, when you ask me a question, I give you, a, well, n not a tone, not a full book, not a, but a small little thing. But things have been happening to me for this last year or so that are just marvelous. Um, at a time, when I really needed in my life to be really busy doing something that I really love, and that's music and acting. And so at that time, I had suffered a, a loss. And, and at that time, when I was getting, giving time, space, and saying, everybody said, well, give it some space, you know, and everything will be all right. It won't. You, it's not the space that does it, it's where you let your heart go and, and where you hold on and release at the same time keeping the good and the powerful. And that takes work too. So just about this time I'm getting into that and I'm feeling good about myself. You're really working this. This is really working very, I go, <laughs> and, but I was cool. And, <laughs> and, and, uh, and something came up for me to do, um, to get involved in this about a, a year and a half ago. And it was a film. And it was not only for me to have this marvelous, very, very, very different role than anything I'd done, but to um, uh, executive, uh, co-executive produce it as well, and really get involved with in the um, uh, creative end of it, and practically every aspect of it. And it's called Lady Magdalene. And <laughs> it will be screening here tomorrow in the Centennial Ballroom at 10 o'clock in the morning, so I know none of you are going to be drinking and, <laughs> and staying up late on Saturday night. I know you're just dying to come right after. We, we could even hold church service before, and I could forgive you, <laughs> absolve you. Of, <laughs> but those of you who, who uh, can make it and wish to, uh, and if you haven't gotten the pass, uh, come by my uh, um, um, 
signing table, autograph table, and uh, and get one. I'll be delighted to. And there have been ones around bringing on you and two guests, if you care to. And it's a wonderful. It's almost a comedy. It's dramatic. It's not a drama. It, it's. It's definitely not a musical, but I sing three songs. <laughs> and, um, and evading the issue, I play a madam in a legal brothel. <laughs> I like that. And, and, um, and I found is such energy in this character and involvement in all of the aspects of the filming with my producer, uh, um, Niels Schulman, who will probably come bursting in here, sorry I'm late in the middle of my speech. You know. So if he does, I want you to all go, shh. <laughs>